Getting the fit and feel of your frames just right is essential to having glasses that you love to wear. So in today's video, I have five key adjustments to make your eyewear fit perfectly. So hi, I'm Robert, style and vision consultant here at the Spectacle Factory, and it's my job to pair you with your perfect pair of glasses. And very few glasses are absolutely perfect off the shelf. If you achieve that, then you are one of the lucky ones. But for most of us, glasses just need a little bit of a tweak here and there. And today I'm going to be demonstrating some absolutely essential types of adjustments to help you achieve an amazing fit. And we're going to start with the simplest and the most common kind of adjustment, which is to do with the temple tips. And the mastoid, as it's known, this region behind the back of our ear, is one of the most sensitive parts of the body. So this is a really crucial adjustment. What we want to see here is a temple tip that curves gently around the back of the ear. You never want to see a 90 degree angle such as this. That's never a good sign. You rarely want to see temple tips which have no grip at all. Unless it's a straight fitting temple and those do exist with brands like Oakley, McLaren, Carrera, etc. The majority of glasses do need to be fitted around the ear to keep them in place. So what you need to do is find the point at which the top of your ear meets the frame. And once you've found that point, you need to hold it between your finger and thumb, like so. And you need to use your finger and thumb in this way, as you can see here, to then gently bend around the ear to create a gentle curve. And we can do that in a couple of different steps so that you're never just doing it all at once and yanking on it. Once you've got that nice gentle curve, you should feel an immediate sense of security around the back of the ear, whereby looking down the frame doesn't move, but equally there's no pressure. Now, if you do find that your glasses are causing irritation behind the back of your ears, it's very simple. We simply do it the opposite way. So rather than having my thumb and forefinger like so and curving it this way, I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to have my thumb on the opposite side of the curve. And simply by doing that, we can then straighten this up. Now you'll notice that I'm using my left hand here to securely grip the temple and that's so that when I apply that pressure, I'm not just bending the arm upwards. We need to keep the arm in place, but just bend this section. And that's gonna then loosen it on my ear. Sometimes these adjustments take a few attempts to get absolutely perfect, even for a trained skilled optician. The reality is that everyone is different and everyone likes their glasses fitted to different amounts of tightness. But once you've got the end tips perfect, the next most important adjustment I would say is the nose bridge. And with acetate frames like this, there's very little adjustment possible on the bridge. So that is generally gonna be fixed. Therefore, it's really important with acetate frames that you get the bridge fitting right before buying. But on frames with nose pads, the good news is that that is completely adjustable. And adjusting the nose pads inwards will actually have the effect of raising the glasses on your face. You should notice now that they're slightly above my eyebrows, which kind of looks wrong. Generally, you want to fit glasses just underneath the eyebrows. But with progressive lenses, for example, if you want to get a little bit more reading out of the lens, adjusting those pads inwards will shift the frame up and give you more reading vision. Conversely, adjusting the pads outwards, and it's very simple on Reykjavik Eyes frames, that's why I selected these for this video. Adjusting the pads outwards will lower the frame relative to your face and that will give you more distance vision in a progressive lens. Now most of the population have one ear that's a little higher or lower than the other and if that's the case when you put glasses on off the shelf they're going to sit on a slight slant and the best way to correct that is by lowering the arm on the side that the glasses are leaning towards. So for example if I put these glasses on and they're leaning this way what I will want to do is lower this temple to raise it back up. You can I guess do this with your fingers but it's not necessarily ideal to do so. Opticians will have steel nose pliers like this, which are used specifically for those kind of adjustments. And it's very simple with one of these tools to then lower that temple. And because these glasses were sitting fine before, now that I've done that adjustment, they should now sit slanted to this side. You should be able to see that. Now to fix that, I could do one of two things. I could either do the same adjustment on the other side, so that would essentially lift it up on the right hand side and then these should go level again. Or if I hadn't done that, and I'll just take that adjustment off, I could then raise the temple on this left side and that's gonna bring the glasses back down on my left side. And hopefully if I've done that in just the right amount, these should now fit straight and level on my face again. It's pretty difficult for me to judge without having a mirror, but looking upwards, 
they do seem pretty level. Now you might be wondering how to do that kind of adjustment on a thick frame like this. When you have a thick, chunky acetate frame, it can make adjustments a lot more difficult than a thin titanium frame like I'm wearing. But it is still possible. There are different ways you can achieve it. So one would be to actually heat the frame with a frame heater. And I've specifically heated the frame in this area here. Heating it here on most acetate frames is not gonna be productive because the frame is just too thick here to bend. But on areas where it's a little bit thinner, you can then get a little bit of adjustment like so. Now, this is not the point where the frame meets my ear. So this is not to do with tightening it behind the ear. This is simply to do with providing a little bit of an angle, which should then, if I've done this correctly, lift this frame up on this side and you can see that it has. Now on really high quality, really premium frames like this Robert LaRoche Harry, which are arguably some of the best acetate frames in the world, you'll occasionally find hinges like this. And this hinge design is actually amazing because it has an anchor point, and I hope you can see it on the camera here, whereby there is actually an ability to adjust this temple at the hinge point. And therefore we can use this tool, which is designed specifically for this kind of adjustment, to pivot the temple downwards, or back up like so. We can adjust that in any direction without weakening the hinge. Now, you can also do that with regular acetate frames, but you risk weakening the hinge if it's a conventional hinge, and that's the risky element of it. And that's why adjusting these kind of frames in that way is more difficult. But with the right approach, even the thickest acetate frames can be adjusted to sit level on the face. Now, it's all well and good, this frame sitting level this way, but what if it doesn't sit level this way? In other words, what if one lens is closer to the eye than the other? So there's a rule in frame adjustment that if you want to move one lens away from the eye, the temple on that side needs to be brought towards the face. And here's how you would do it with an acetate frame. So I've actually just heated the exact same point that I heated earlier, this thinner area just before where the temple curves around my ear. And what I'm going to do now is actually bend this inwards. This is going to push this lens away from my eye. So this will now sit a little bit further away from my eye. And then again, with amazing quality strip titanium frames like Reki Vikai's, that adjustment is just so easy to do. With the steel nose pliers, we're just going to bring this temple inwards, like so. This temple outwards by the same amount. And you'll see now that that right lens is gonna be way further away from my eye than the left lens. An extreme example, just to show you how much adjustment can be done. To be honest, I get very frustrated with the stories that I hear from people visiting optical stores all over the world and not being able to get their glasses adjusted in the right way. But as part of a virtual consultation, I will actually make these adjustments prior to sending the glasses out. And I would say 99 times out of 100, the glasses fit perfectly first time. Now for my fifth and final adjustment, we're going to be talking about the frame angle. Now this is really important, particularly to your vision, because all optical lenses have an ideal angle at which they need to sit relative to the eyes. So there are two main angles that need to be adjusted for. One is the bow, and this is the curvature of the frame relative to the face. The second is called the pantoscopic tilt, and what that is, is the angle of the lenses in this direction. Adjusting for both of these is quite straightforward with most glasses. If we want to increase the pantoscopic tilt, what we're going to do is bring both temples down, by the same amount. That is going to introduce more pantoscopic tilt. So what you'll see now as I put these glasses on is that these are now angled in towards my face. And similarly, if I want to reduce that pantoscopic tilt, I'm just gonna bring both temples upwards relative to the lenses. Now that can be important for vision, but it can also be very important for people with, let's say chubbier cheeks, where the glasses might catch on the cheeks. By reducing the pantoscopic tilt, you're gonna bring the bottom of the frame away from the face. And by the way, a little Extra tip, if you want to get both the bottom and the top of the lenses away from your face, hopefully you can see here, what I'm going to do is just bring these backwards. That is going to push all of the frame well away from my face. You should see now that there's quite a lot of clearance between my face and the lenses. But just to finish off, let's talk about the bow angle. And that is something that's very easy to do. It's just a case of using your hands to mold the frames like so. So you can see that that's now introduced more of a bow angle. And to take it off, just the opposite. We're just gonna flatten this with our fingers and thumbs and now I have these back to normal again. And the bow angle can be done on an acetate frame as well, simply by heating this area here, as I'll now demonstrate.
And acetate is such a beautiful material, it's such a magical material, and there's a reason why it's used in the best quality frames, because acetate is so moldable, it's so malleable when it's heated, but then retains its shape when it's cooled. So that means that you can make adjustments like this. You can introduce a bow angle to an acetate frame, even the thickest acetate frame like this, with the right skill, the right tools, and of course, the right glasses. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, please give us a like and subscribe to the channel for more of the best eyewear content on the internet. And if you have any questions about adjusting your glasses, please leave those in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks guys, bye bye.